Hello, Cobras, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. I am Tricla Tamer. Last time, we explored the Faron Woods of the Twilight Realm, and we got the Tears of Light to restore the vessel and go back to normal with the hero's garb of green wonderfulness and weird green laces at the top of the collar. For whatever reason. And these Bokoblins are back again, so I can showcase another thing that happened. We met the hero Shade in the form of a wolf, and then in the form of a Southos, and Tori isn't Link back in Ocarina of Time. Uh, yeah, it's been proven that that's the case. I'm not gonna hold the spoilers. And in this episode, we're ready for the Forest Temple. I'm <laughs> kind of going back and forth with how I'm saying things. We got the ending blow. We showcased it again on the Bokoblin there. Kind of a nice recap. And here we are, going into the Forest Temple. Things may start to look familiar, but unfortunately there's no mystifying music, just normal monkey-sounding jungle-ish music, kind of. Like jungle ruins-ish. As we can tell, there's a monkey off in the distance. In the d d d d distance the DD dream up distance triple E. <laughs> this room kind of looks familiar, don't you think? <laughs> Got some totem poles around here. Ah, uh, well, I'm just gonna run into that so I can do that. And got a deck of lava that I'm just gonna kill with some stabbing. That doesn't really make sense, like stabbing directly through the stuff. We're hearing some rustling, which could be a Jimmy. Or, you know, another deck of lava. And also spiders, so we'd be nice with that. And I was trying to do a quick spin, but it wasn't allowing me. Already killed him enough. And let's do the Kabooskis, like so. And then aim it right at the monkey. Feels like I was hitting something. But let's just do a quick spin after a nice slash to free the monkey. I think we found our temple gimmick. She is beckoning me. I think it's the uh, same monkey going ahead. Hey, this monkey that stole your lantern. Doesn't look like she's beckoning you. Aren't you the popular one? <laughs> Yes, indeed. Midna's gonna be saying it for me. Okay, I guess there's no vines to climb in this room. Okay, I thought there was. Okay, there's this right here. I was wondering where they were. I was looking at them. It's like, oh, there's no vines for me to climb. Uh, I think I hear another one that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Slightly faster climbing. Hello there. I would not like to climb into something like that. IRL or in or IRG in random game. Or in real game, because this is as real as it gets. Do 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 do. Go to that and cut them corners. But if we weren't really high enough, it would like, kind of clip me down. <laughs> Using my time not too wisely to get this ten rupee of yellowness. Green, awesome forest temple. <laughs> I was doing random words that came to mind that didn't make sense, so I just spouted them as they came around. I should run for president. Anyway, <laughs> hello, monkey of beckoningness. <laughs> Reminds me of Samuel in Game of Thrones. Hello! Anyway, familiar symbol. Yeah, it's totally Gygus, like Faron. <laughs> uh, I think Faron may have actually been in the shape for that particular reason to be like the fourth symbol in Ocarina of Time. Got a giant skull to leg here. I'm going to do some twisty stuff. You can tell that we're not doing too much damage, so we have to try to hit it on the thorax. Oh yeah, shake that thorax. Do things like that. There we go with the cool pose. <laughs> Dropping so many hearts, now like I need them all. Hmm, we got a chest up there floating around. Come on, let's shoot my stuff so I can make it fall down. I can shoot at the pots to break them, but I can't exactly shoot something like that. It's too durable and adorable of plastery stuff for me. I don't know why these odd words come into mind for descriptions. But time saying them. Haha. <laughs> I was used to the bombling right here being in a different location on the left side instead of the right, but we are playing the GameCube so to speak version, so it's gonna be on the right right to there. Explode that right there. Our first usage of Explosives because something otherworldly destroyed it and just made it so that there was a spider there. A giant spider. Maybe that very first Skulltula. Well, Skulltulas were the tiny ones. If you want to differentiate them that much, so. I don't need to kill you. I'm going to kill you with that because it makes total sense. I don't need the seeds out of you. I did use some seeds, but I got that one that I recovered from the guy previously. Well, seems that we must light some torches here. In no particular order, unless it does want me to do an order. But it doesn't. 
unless you did things very specifically of putting them out and back on. There are things kind of like that in the game. The monkey wants me to follow her. She's off in the background there. But we gotta do some crazy flashy chest opening to get the dungeon map. Press up on the D-pad to view the map. Green rooms are the ones you visited. Yellow arrow shows your current location. Tilt the left stick to change floors. Oh yeah. Pretty basic. So now that we are seeing rooms before we explore them, I'm gonna put the mini-map away. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna deal into great detail, and I can do it on the gamepad if I want to look faster. Just look down as playing as I'm playing. I could put the gamepad up on my desk in front of my switch instead of off on my side table. But uh, I'm fine with the way things are now. My phone is there with Pokemon Go on, and I have Splatoon 2 at the ready if I want to play that in between episodes. I'm gonna do like an episode, and while it processes, I'm gonna do the playing of Splatoon 2, and then do another episode instead of doing like hour long recordings, which could cause potential issues. Speaking of potential issues, hmm, that's a big old monkey right there. Is that the one that went funny in the head? Maybe. If it's gonna be attacking his own kin, not kin and like Kenny as a name, or kin, but kin, like family, K I N. Kiln, K I L N? No. We're not in fire locations yet. I see you way off in the distance there. <laughs> Is that the theme? Monkeys jumping up and down from far away? Oh, what's going on? Has there been a monkey fight? Oh no, now we can't go any farther. Might as well go back. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like she wants to take you somewhere. So maybe you should just follow her. Sounds like a plan, but I'm just gonna jump down. I don't want to do too much of that. <laughs> seems like I could climb down. If this were Bot Wu, I could do some stuff as long as I have enough stamina. But this isn't Bot Wu. This is this is toilet paper or toilet princess if you want to stylize yourself like that. And those uh, pots are back, but I don't need to do it. She's beckoning me to do the stuff. Sounds like she was starting to sing. Uh, Still alive in Portal. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Is there an item here? No, because it's not showing on things, even though we don't have the compass yet. It's the compass is the one that allows me to see where the things are. But anyway, go into the Stark Room. Just slash this bomb link. Should be well enough into place. Stay out of the way, monkey lady girl. I'm gonna look at you. You are very creepy. <laughs> Could make for a thumbnail there. With how it was layering over into the explosion. If things look nice enough. Uh, that's something there. I'm just gonna ignore it and get that blue rupee. But anyway. Phew! Out at last! Gracious! Once I got in there, I couldn't squeeze back out! You were a big help! Thanks! I've been looking for something in here, as you see. Gracious, yes! You must need something here, too! Shall we try working together for a while, fellow adventurer? I can even warp you out of here if you want to leave! You'll be able to come back to the same room anytime you want. I can be quite helpful, you see. I'm trying to give sounds with a ooh sound like a you on the brow. So don't think of me as a burden. Now let's get started. This is Uku. If you call her in a dungeon, she will let you out and allow you to return when you want. Set her and use her with the buttons. I just want to grab my blue rupee, so I shall do so. So let's go ahead and see what Uku's all about. Get rid of my item of stuff out of the way or something. <laughs> Let's see what she's all about. Pull around. Ooh, did you want to leave? I can warp you right out. If you can return right here so there are no worries. Let's not warp out. Oh goodness, are you a trooper? Don't push too hard if you just need a breath of fresh outside wild air. Just give me a holler. Hello, Bombling. I'm just gonna go past you unless the monkey's gonna be fearful about it. But she's not. It's just an explosive thing that could actually be quite dangerous. <laughs> But she doesn't seem to be quite phased, but what she will be phased by is the second bubble right here that attacked me upon spawn. Wrong sound is the Breath of the Wild sound effect for texting. Why am I receiving a text of my mom? Probably food related stuff in the location that they are. Oh, seems that someone has a dog in that location, which is where I started Mario RPG. Ooh, someone's drooling, and the monkey's not too happy, because it is a Scotula that is dangerous. Well, dangerous if you are to fight against it and not make it fall into the water to its immediate death. You are leading me to a location that appears to be spiderishly locked. Well, how useless. Let's go over this way. Very precarious looking chest in this precarious area. Z-motions. So many Z-motions going on here. Ah, uh, yep. This is... A different hub room. There's like a couple different hub rooms, like the main one we went into where 
he first started swinging around, then the boot related one to harken back around. But anyway, let's do some swimming because there is an item to get. Something exclusive to Twilight Princess HD, even. Let's go off into the distance. Got a fancy chest, but no fancy pickup stuff. But it's a fancy stamp for the Hylian letter A. You can check your stamps on the collection screen. Let's gonna show this. There's five pages of things, so there's like five, ten, so fifty. I don't know. My math may be a little bit wrong there, but there's a lot of things to get. There's a whole alphabet, and then there's like character specific ones, so we'll eventually see ones with Link and stuff. And all the important characters we see throughout the game. Not that everybody's important in their own way, like this monkey leading me around. Okay, I'm kinda of losing my bearings here. Let's see where exactly we must be going. Alright, uh, that's the way forward right there. That is not a lot, so we shall go that way. <laughs> gonna use Uku when the time is right, so we can make a better usage of things, even though she's gonna teleport me to the room where things were the way they were. So we could just show it off. But we got things twisting around with the wind, so let's make use of that. Hello, Keys. I want to shoot you through the air, but it's not happening. I'll just leave you to your own demise and devices and bash my head against the wood. Oh man, I think this loves this temple already with all this wood that he's seeing. Go into here, a nice chest immediately available for me to get, so we shall grab it. Nothing fancy here. Just a fanciful small key that will open a locked door, but only in this area. <laughs> get ready to be used to that text. Yeah, don't get used to it now. Be ready to be used to it. Because this is only the beginning. Hello, Bokoblins. I'm gonna stun you. You're gonna fall right off. You have a one-track mind. Let's see if your buddy's the same. While I lure you and you're interested in that, you're gonna go in the other way. So I'm just gonna do that. Am I gonna knock you down? You're gonna come this way. Come here, buddy. I wish to defecate on your soul. I'm gonna lock onto you and do it. Come on! I shall take you down if you don't take yourself down already. How far down is that? Just be careful not to fall down myself. Uh, pretty far. <laughs> Judging by the whiteness of the abyss down there. Like, it's so far down that it actually gets light. Anti-darkness. Alright, let's see if I can do something here. I just need to go back to that hub room right there, but I'll use Uku here. Warp you right down, return right here. Warp around. Yes, yes! Now, leave it to me! But not you, your son, Uku Jr. Let me introduce you! This is Uku Jr. Anytime you want to walk back to okay, this is really annoying. Just ask him to teleport you and meet at the entrance rather than over here, just go there and I'll meet you. Now bon voyage you two Man, it looks like we're just gonna make out. Am I gonna be a wonderful stepdad? Me as Link? How far am I into this? Let me see. Uh thirteen and a half minutes, maybe a minute or so of getting synchronized. Okay, we're all the way on the outside. But that's how things work. If we actually use Uku Jr. on the inside, I think he'll take me back to where Uku is originally because he is a different item now. Just demonstrating how things work. Wanna go back to my mama? Yeah, let's go back. You got it, mama, here we come. I already regret you as my stepchild. <laughs> and the monkey's like, what is going on here? And that Keith was so perplexed too. <laughs> just gotta get away from that. Oh well, took that little bit of time to explain things. Well, well, welcome back. Without further ado, we're off. All the skill with the crazy inflections on the ooh sounding words. With the ooh, cool name with all my voice cracking. So now with that explanation out of the way, I'm never going to use it again because I don't really have a lot of uses for Uku unless I can particularly think of thinking of one. I'll try to see if it happens in practice. And I didn't have enough fun the first time, so I'm going to do that again. Let you wither in the water and fold up with your rigor mortis and everything. Yeah, with your Rick and Mortis, haha. <laughs> wonder if that's an intentional thing. <laughs> that's a series for me to watch through as well. And then here is another monkey. You go on to your friend right there. Hop off that rickety bridge. Jump up that totem pole. Well, climb up it and do some weird thrusting motions. Feels like there's a role reversal of the genders there. Go across the bridge ourselves and we break it because Link is a fat individual. Must be the laces on my boots. Well, there's not really laces on there, but the green ones on my garb of tunic stuff. I don't know why I like using the word garb. Ah, no enemies around. It's not like there's nothing to worry about. Just the monkey. Let's roll into here and do stuff. Actually, if we were to talk to the monkey, she'd be like, yeah, roll into the thing. So it seems to be nice. But she's not really explaining it right now. So let's just do things like that. <laughs> Hope he doesn't have head trauma. With all the 
splinters of the wood. And look at that, suddenly enemies that we must take down. I am not going to do a quick spin. I am going to get ready for that. Doom, doom. Sounds like an enemy hitting me or me attacking it. That it was in the weird sounds of music. Just casually sheathed my shield away. I don't know why I was saying shield. I was knowing that I was going to say the word sword. Anyway, I think there's an item in here. Yes, indeed. So let's grab said item. Being a yellow rupee, these things just can't stay away from me, I guess. Or I can't stay away from them. It's an inverse relationship of stuff, I guess. But how will we get out of this room? Well, maybe this cutscene will tell us. Do some hoppity hops. Feels like there should be a third one, but I say two is enough. If not, that would have been kind of weird. I would have to, like, use Uku Jr. to save the monkeys and they teleport wherever I go, pretty much. Alright, now that we have two monkeys, I say we are about uh, 15 and a half or so minutes in, judging by my audacity. I will be keeping things up. Oh, look at my time, 734. <laughs> Let's not waste time. Uh, yeah, I was already there. And I want to return to the original room. I like the room. It's going to take me back around. Uh, I don't know. It's just an easy way around. And an easy way around. Gotta use my articles, you know. Don't have to worry about killing enemies. <laughs> that would just be annoying. Now that we are in this room with two monkeys, one is going to do that. Good old female monkey. I think in my felt I wanted to give her like some kind of name, like uh, Juliana or something. Or whatever. But yeah, the name for Midna if she gets into what she needs, Mindy. <laughs> so I guess that was the thing as of last episode. Then the male monkey is gonna go over here, not like the female one couldn't just go back around for me. But you gotta make things complicated somehow. Use my flamey stuff so I can get through that cobweb. Yes, cob, not spider. And we are in a different room of sorts, with some different sorts of enemies. Different swords of enemies. Notice how these Deku Babas look a little bit different? That's because they are Deku Baba serpents. Well, minus the Deku part of it. Yeah, a little creepy how they slither around the way they are. Oh yeah, I gotta do the bigger pose and know there are plenty of enemies around. Like this Deku like. Do you like like lights? Because this Deku like likes like likes. You can't just have to kill it right now, so I'm just gonna do things like this, do my clip spins and everything. Victory pose after every enemy, but I didn't get to finish it. Oh, uh, surely this isn't gonna be bad. Maybe we can trick that bombing into coming over here. But nope, there's a chest over there, so let's keep that in mind. And you there. Uh, we got a bombling. Let's pick up the bombling. And gee, I wonder what I do. I'm just gonna jump right over, and it's gonna eat me and not the bomb. It's gonna explode in the middle of the cutscene. It's gonna do some weird glitchy stuff for me. I uh, thought it's gonna explode at the same time. Obviously, we don't jump in the mouths ourselves. The maw of the catfish that is not a catfish, but of the Deku lights. Let's do something like that so it gets eaten like so. Get ready for an explosion of gulpitude. Blah. Gotta do with Rager Mortis and stuff as you wilt away. Uh, any items for me? Well, there's a half heart. Might as well half a heart. In the way I am picking it up. <laughs> I was trying to use my puns, but it wasn't exactly happening. Let's take this with me, be quick about it, and get ready to toss up. Didn't quite happen. There's no other bombling around, so I'm gonna have to try that again a little bit faster. Faster, faster, I am slowly blanking. Or blanking if I were to quote things as I've done before, weirdly. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> Did I damage myself? Or was it cutscene testing? I guess it must have been cutscene testing. The way things are being. Or something. Let's go into this room. It is a room of darkness. I'm sure it's no big deal for me to explore. I'm just my Audacity screen up as long as it shows that red button down on the test bar. Things should be well. Drip drop stuff. I'm sure the ceiling is just crumbling over there, but nope, it's a sculpture way off in the distance. Something to deal with, but I see treasure. Over the mountain or the total pool, and I see a treasure for me to pick up. I am Ed Sheeran in Game of Thrones, you know. I'm gonna be the equivalent for Ed Sheeran, whatever they do a Game of Thrones style thing for Netflix of Zelda. <laughs> anyway, go through here. We got some tile worm enemies. I'm sure, they're no big deal. Allow me to use my lantern in a skillful way. And it feels like we can just climb up. Just be careful and mindful of where all these tile worms are. 
and swing myself very carefully and strategically. Even if there's a chest under there. Not a big deal right now. <laughs> I remember something happened. If you were to engage these tie worms, let's try for something around here. Hey, there's you there. Yeah, they attack you like so. <laughs> and if you angle things around, they can like knock you up to there before needing certain things. Hey, look at that. <laughs> it's of course on this side of the room. And then this tiny chest is a red rupee, finally, instead of all these yellow ones we've been getting. So that's a nice upgrade. And don't need to worry about the pause over there. Even though they're making normal hearts. Hey, what are you doing? Camera, what the heck? <laughs> this is weird. Probably because the guy is right behind me swinging around. Swinging around town. And we got the skull to let. Let's just knock it down. Okay, it's not really held together by thread. Why is it not? Well, because it's an enemy scripted to fall down like it does. Crazy shadows up against the wall. Come on, monkey, just poke it. I'm sure the spider sculpture would be into that. Let's uh, get around you there so I can try a little something. Let's not lock on. <laughs> You're too fast for me. I want to do this. Come on, do the damage. Why is it not doing anything? <laughs> I'm leaning from the four eyes. Maybe I just need to wait until you're getting ready to attack me like that or not. Get ready and boom. Yeah. Your underside under the belly like that. But uh, yes, we have a key, so we shall use this key. I thought we didn't have a key for a second there. But I'm not exactly remembering things. I am doing this in the proper order, right? Uh, did I actually go the way I needed to? Yeah, because I had to get that one key to get the second monkey. Uh, remember, remembering how things need to be, remembering. Uh, I feel like we're gonna have to go back to the screen later, not get head trauma by diving into the water. So that'll be monkey number three for us, I believe. Come on, swim with me, my dude, or maybe you're a female that just doesn't have the luxury of having, having, hammering, having a flower on you. Just show butt, showing your butt like that. Anyway, as you may remember, there's another deck like around somewhere, so we shall use that to advantageous means. Be mean to this bombling. Let's get ready to initiate the cutscene, but it wasn't happening. Come on. I could jump down, uh, but I want to do things in a cool manner. Cool, cool mountain. Come on, gotta get my run speed up. Get ready to toss. Nope. <laughs> Why am I not being skillful? Maybe I just need to lure it over here a tiny bit, even though it's kind of staying stagnant. How about I knock it over that way to get that little bit of time and pick it up? I can just pick it up when it's all low and stuff. This is how you do it, right? What the heck? I've always done it like this. Uh, let's see if I can figure this out. Fine game, I'll contend to your knees. I'll go down this way and see how it is, except it's not gonna be correct because I need another four year of boating school. Obviously, it is possible to get the item at the point we are now, but <laughs> we might want to come back a little bit later. Okay, make sure I'm not confusing myself here. Let me just see if I can normally jump. Oh, wait a second. I see what's going on here. Wait a second. Me being at this point I am, is it gonna do more damage to me? No, it's gonna leave me at a quarter health of damage. Uh, let's look for hearts in the grass here and not have all this crazy bleeple bloppling. Oh well. <laughs> Spending all this extra time, it's like I'm doing a blind up here or something. Uh, yeah, the way around. Gotta take a different path. <laughs> Felt like I was missing something there. So I know there's another bomb wing, so I was kind of wrong in saying that earlier, and that there would be another one. Or would not be another one. It's my dirty blonde brownish hair. Make up your mind, which one is it? Uh, let's be careful not to do the damage. Okay, here's how we do things. Just pick it up like this, toss it down, and it's gonna suck it up. Just suck it up, Kirby. Be all cool, and get ready for explosions of greatness. Past the 25 minute mark now, but a little bit of editing has been happening. Let's uh, drop down like this. <laughs> been funny if I took fall damage but grabbed the heart but still died in the first place. But anyway, we're gonna be recovering more health with this piece of heart that we find here. Yes, there are pieces of hearts in the temples. And useless bombling in case you somehow glitch your way through and need to find a way out. An easy out at that. No need to use Uku, even though I could place her right there and just have Uku Jr. come around. And that could be something I try. Let's uh, just let these monkeys have their fun so I can make my way to the center and try something of this sort. Let's do that right here. Oh goodness, you want to go outside? No, I don't want to warp out. <laughs> you have to warp out if you want to do that. 
so you can't really. It's not exactly for Roar's Wind, I guess is what it's trying to get to me. Uh, yeah. I think three monkeys is all we need, unless I need more. I'm trying to remember how things are working. I think there was another way for me to go. Okay, I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> I do have to go back to that one place. Confusing myself. I have an idea. How about we go where we haven't gone yet before moving along too soon? A very easy door right here to a closed off room with a certain thing in the middle leading to a locked door monkey. Feels like you need a bigger key than usual, but it's a very tiny keyhole. And speaking of keys, I hear some jingle jangling, even though that's not really a normal thing for keys to be out in the open. But it's being ingested by not a deck of like, but a big baba. It's like a combination of a deck of baba and a deck of like. All the weird things going on. I'm gonna slash you right there. That's how you stun it. Do some stuff. Come on, I'm just gonna do these high spins of jump attacks. Oh, you're doing damage to me. <laughs> Remember my very first time playing, I was like, oh, you're doing the same. Well, that's how you take that part out right there, but there's the belly of the beast right there. It's all opened up. A combination of stuff. It's like more difficult in the previous room because there are different enemies as multiple targets. But in this room, it's like a single sort of mini boss type of deal. But uh, it's kind of a disappointing mini boss, don't you think? And it's pretty obvious how things are going at this point. But anyway, do things like so. Defeat the big old Baba right there. Baba O'Reilly. Get a very shiny key. It's too majestic for me. I have to have full health for this thing. Small key open a lot door, but only in this area. <laughs> in this very specific area, because you just need to take down the enemy. It would be weird to have a mechanized to have something for you to unlock. Yeah, there's other enemies around. And that's the next monkey I need. So, the way things are now, get me a little bit of money. Be all nice and stuff. I'm making my way out and not have to worry about these bombies. Even if I want to fight them, I could fight them. I don't know. <laughs> Being weird. But, next time, uh, let's play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Now that we have enough monkeys, we shall be going back to the center room. We should be able to make use of the jumpy doo thing, where the boss monkey was on the other side. Emphasis on the word boss. Many ways around that. And that's what we're going to be doing. Until next time, don't toast yourself. Battle not with monsters, lest ye become a monster. And if you gaze into the abyss, the abyss gazes also into you. Even if the abyss is a monkey.